Hi there, so this video is going to be about um, sketching some kind of uh, skeletal um, sea creatures or something, I don't know. I've got to fit it in behind uh, that commission that I did. i um, got to fit some at the side, so what I was thinking about is maybe this is underwater and maybe this is like, I don't know, propped up against some rocks there and then we've got some like these sea creatures in the background but I need to first uh, sketch some ideas out and just see how it works really I've got an idea for maybe like a, a skull and then maybe like the rib cage and then the top you know skull arms and then the rest are just maybe uh, like tentacles Perhaps. I don't know. I think it might work. Got like the rib cage there. Oh, give it like sharp teeth or something. These are just like little claws on the on the top. I'll just zoom in slightly. So with these sea creatures, I think it's best if I just do a, a really rough sketch here because it's only like planning out, and I can maybe make this into an illustration another time. But I'm not sure how many tentacles um, this will have. Maybe four. That's a nice uh, even number, I think. And then the rib cage is there like that. The arm's a little bit low down, but it's still just an idea at this point. And the claws. Don't know if there's like pencil claws, I don't know. I think that could work. Maybe that's slightly bigger that one. Oops. Messed that up. I could just erase that. Uh, yeah, so it's it's like these skeletal type creatures. And the teeth there. Yeah, I quite like this idea. It's simple, fairly straightforward. Just darken these lines now for the tentacles. Fix the arm a bit. Got the collarbones there, and then we've got all these ribs here, which I'll just leave quite sketchy to be honest. So, this is like a variation on what I was thinking. I was going to just do like a, a skull, uh, you know, and the, you know, just on top of the tentacles. But the customer said um, something skeletal, so I thought I'd include the rib cage and the tentacles. I'm trying to work out the flow of the tentacles. Okay, the lands.
And there's maybe some, there's some bubbles. Because it's underwater sea creature. So I think I can quickly ink this and, you know, then I can give like a, a solid looking idea really. That's something I can build on later on. of a creature concept Just keep the ribs quite sketchy looking. This pen's running out. But I'm not too bothered. A quick design this. Just hollow looking. Let's get a thinner ink pen for this. Try and keep the sketch really quite rough. Just to. There's something to build on later, as I said. Um, you know, I can chop and change ideas like this. some lands off. So yeah, it's quite interesting how you can sort of create um, ideas that you have in your own head and it ends up being different to, uh, you know, when you actually draw it. Um, it's like I said, I was just going to draw a skull on top of some tentacles, but I think this works even better really. really sketchy looking. Just correct them uh, little collarbone things.
try and make that near enough look the same. Near enough does. So little details on the arms and there. There's some make more out of the you know the I think the ribs are a bit different to normal ribs the go inwards and there's like a be a dark section here. Not too sure. Still got cross hatching a bit. And just think the skull head. teeth as well make them bubbles a bit more around there so we'll sort this drawing out a bit better at a later stage. So we've got our initial idea there. Um, not perfect, but it gives it just forms the basis of uh, you know if I wanted to redraw it later or. Um, add to it or maybe take it to the light box and uh, change things around so yeah in fact I'm gonna make notes of these things future videos that I can do and this one I'll be taking to a light box um, so I'm gonna write this down because I, I usually forget this stuff that I say that I'm gonna do and then I forget so I maybe take this to a light box and maybe change the structure of it uh, using the light box and that could be interesting to look at and just seeing the process of that as well so yeah so I've begun to sketch um, some like creatures uh, I made them different from the actual creature I did earlier um, maybe just have like one like uh, tentacle like tail I was gonna make them into like um, mermaids but no, I think I'll just leave like the tail like that looking slightly rotten and I don't know. Uh, they look slightly smaller than the actual skull so they could be just small little hybrid um, sea creatures or something. So I've got one there, one there and then at the bottom we've got a close up of one there with a claw and I'm going to have to we put a, a rock or seabed under there, something there, like with some uh, plant life or some kind of sea life, some under there, like um, almost like a coral reef, I think. Because I'm gonna I just have to put the mask on something. I can't just have it floating in midair, I suppose. So yeah, just working on that a bit more. Hope to get it finished got a few hours to finish this anyway so I'll work on it some more and see how it goes so I just thought I'd show you um, the finished piece of that uh, commission that I handed in yeah, it was late last night I handed it in um, I'm not so sure if he's accepted it yet um, but I tried doing these like um, like real small like skull creatures with uh, these weird claw hands <laughs> and like rib cages and stuff and you know obviously smaller than the actual skull because I couldn't really draw them big behind that skull and um, if I knew that I was going to be drawing the background beforehand then I would have planned it all out and made the skull slightly smaller uh, in the center and that uh, but I've done like a, a rocky sort of coral reef real simple underneath um, which sort of looks like the shadow of the rest of the figure 
um, I did that on purpose so you know just a little subtle sort of um, thing uh, there's little reflections on the little bubbles there and just trying to blend the the blue and the aqua green copic markers in the background just to create um, some kind of depth with that and yeah just blending all the greys and you know little white highlights which are supposed to be like little barnacles you know on the especially on the claw there little barnacle things because they're under the water so yeah so I just thought I'd show you that and yeah 